Hi everyone, Aldous Ike here. I have a uh, short video for you today that is for informational purposes only, and I've entitled it Practicing in Real Life. So I was reading a book called um, Radical Acceptance by Tara Brock, and one of the important uh, gems that I gleaned from it was that practicing uh, spiritual meditation, for example, should extend beyond the actual uh, meditation. Okay, uh, So she makes the point of indicating that if we consider our practice to be spiritual, only when it takes place in the context of formal meditations, then we're missing um, how critical daily relationships are to um, our awakening, as she puts it. Uh, and then she gives the example of how easily a peaceful and loving person at a silent retreat uh, can turn into an angry and hurtful person when interacting with people. So the point here is to apply what we learn, um, you know, in those silent meditations to real life situations. And when I was learning hypnosis and visualization, you know, I typically would place myself in a potential social situation. Uh, it's kind of like priming, you know, and I see myself uh, dealing with the situation appropriately, as opposed to, you know, becoming um, an angry, hurtful person. So these, this kind of primes you for, um, for a situation and at least helps uh, reduce the chance of acting in an angry, hurtful way. Okay, uh, so meditation and visualization can be used. Um, both can be used to achieve a goal at the time of visual spiritual practicing, but also at the time of in vivo or in life practicing. And and I think that's really where uh, it counts the most. And uh, so this was a short one. Uh, hope it's useful. Thanks.